There, there, little gamer. There, there. <laughs> All right, it is time for Jen's top ten list. And Jen, she's whining and crying because she didn't want to have to rank them from ten to one. It's a bullshit thing. I don't even think Mikey did. I don't want to rank them. I want my favorites. That's how it felt. <laughs> and Mikey, did. I don't feel like Mikey did it. I think he just was like, these are ten. It's not fair. I think he so did. that I think he did. I blame Mikey for the topic, and I blame you for the bullshit of making me rank them. So, if you guys haven't watched our last video where Scott ranked his top 10 games, yeah. this all came because Mikey hates us. <laughs> I think. But you hate five people, too. But I hate five <laughs> people, too. <laughs> because part of the challenge of putting out your top 10 video games is that you have to tag five other people. Mm -hmm. He didn't say cha uh, channels, he said five other people. Yeah, I made five frenemies today, or I'm going to. You're going to, yeah, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as they watch this video. So, as per Mikey did, you are going to put your tags out right up front. Yes. So if they decide to turn the video off right then and there, <laughs> <laughs> they, they will. Yeah, if you turn it off and you never know I, you were tagged. People, I know, I'm telling you right now because when I watched Mikey's for the first time, there were people were like, oh, I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna tag five people. And you're like, oh fuck. And yeah. then your hands are starting to sweat there. And you're, yeah, and you're like, looking don't. at my tablet and I'm like, don't say it, don't say it. Don't say my name, bitch. <laughs> don't say my name. Well, I'm about to say your name. And I got five people. <laughs> What's my name, bitch? What's my name? <laughs> And my first person on the list, and I hope she doesn't hate me after this, Samantha. I want to see your top 10 list. I don't know what that's about. I don't know, but I want to see your top 10 because she plays a lot of retro. You do not. I do not. And so I would so like to be inspired maybe I by your... I think you have to tell her what she needs to play because yes. she obviously won't listen to me. Uh, another person and... I'm just excited to see. We have nothing in common gaming related, <clears throat> but he makes me laugh. Speedy from Beyond Useless Gaming. I want to see your top 10 list. I want you to make me laugh. Please, please, please do it. Just do it. Do it. Nike. <laughs> do it. Not, not sponsored by Nike. Another person I really click with a lot. He gets my sense of humor. I totally get his. Generation Pixel. Please. Weirdo too, is he? No! <laughs> he's, got, he's got a great sense of humor. He does these really cool uh, better half, like a oh. like a subscription box. Oh. Yeah, so I love it, love it, love it. I thought you were giving me a compliment for a second. Oh, sure. <laughs> we also have easygoing gaming. Same thing. Same. We, a lot of similar games. A lot of similar games. Yep. So I'm not, don't think you'll see a lot of retro on his list either. No. Well, he no. he has some retro on there, but they're probably going to be retro horror horror. Retro horror. <laughs> <Maybe>. Old whore. <laughs> Old whore. <laughs> Don't call them old. They're just retro. And then the last person on my list is Chill Scissors. I would love to see your top 10. Uh, I'm so excited he just started playing Uncharted. Maybe it'll make his top 10 someday. I don't know. That's the thing with a top 10 list. For pe for anybody that plays a fair amount of games, um, your top 10 list is an ever-evolving oh. list of games that can change year to year. And mine did. It my, I did my first, well, I did a top five because it was me and Alex. We did yes, top 10. Top 10 so, all together. My top five actually stayed in my top 10. Remember too. when I was talking too much and you said this was your video? This is my video. Fine. Okay, so we're done talking about Scott's games. But um, just so you know, in my list, I've only really been gaming for the last two years. I would say more intensely. Before that, it was very hit or miss. I would pick up a game more and play miss. It. More miss. So a lot of my games will be newer games. Not that I don't have an appreciation for older games. I just haven't played them yet. I know I need to. So just shh, listen to my game. Okay. <clears throat> no, you have three, don't you? That you didn't I make do. your list. Sorry, I do have three that haven't made my list. She had a copy of a, a video that was earlier. And it was a good video, though. Bendy and the Ink Machine. When Scott brought this home, I was like, Why'd you bring me a kid's game home? Because my daycare kids used to talk about it a lot, and I was pleasantly surprised it was anything but a kid's game. It is a great game, and I could see myself playing this game. It, it's it, cool. It's a really cool yeah. game. It just didn't make the top ten. Just watch out for that game-breaking glitch. Yeah. Evil Within 2. The reason I'm not putting Evil Within 1, and it is not in my top ten, is because that this is just a better game. 
this uh, built upon the first one and I love when a sequel hits those notes better. This one did that. Phenomenal game, just didn't make the top 10. I would say one of my first real horror experiences playing on my own is, next one? is the next one. Mm -hmm. And it was recommended on, by Dennis. By Dennis. Yep. Silent Hill and I did this is the way I played it. I freaking loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. Yep. Yeah, it just didn't make the top ten because what I've played past this has just now, I don't know, it's holds a special place in my heart though because it be, was my first I'm one. I wanna ask you because you when we look at her list, it's very modern. There's it is. There's a couple of retro ones. Yeah. But saying that, like, when you get into, especially PlayStation 1 games, the controls are clunky and the graphics yeah. aren't great. But they do make up for it with better music, better story. They do. So. They do. Yeah. You, I think you, all you're newer, fine with that. I'm I am. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I think all newer modern games take their inspiration from where it started and, then crank and built up. on it. Yeah. So I do really love this game. Wish it could have made the top 10, but I just had other games in here. And I'm feeling like even this top 10, I'm probably missing something. And that, it's eating at my soul. I was standing here for like an hour looking eating around. Eating at my soul. <laughs> just so you know. The first game on the list, and a lot of these games were either, it meant something to me personally, <clears throat> or I decided to play them on my own. And this is one of those. We have Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow on the DS. This kind of opened up a brand new world for me because I didn't really play DS games. I like I said, I'm really getting you into. You played Switch, but really handheld games. That's probably one of your first. Yeah, I did play a little bit of PSP. Very little, like Very, some golf. And exactly. Stuff like that, yeah. This is such a good game. I, it As made a, me want to have the other three. Yeah, like if you like Symphony of the Night, it looks very, oh yeah, very inspired. By oh that yeah, part. and it, I didn't care that it was on a handheld. I loved it because I got to like play it when I could yeah. and I wasn't connected to like having to sit down and I had to be on a console. I could now, take it. That's the first one you've played out of the four on the DS. Yeah. I wonder if next year this will be in because this is number 10. I know. This just, <laughs> just made the list. Yeah. Number nine on my list is one of those nostalgic games. Mm -hmm. I've actually played it several times. So you do know I love it. We've got Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. A lot of people have this in their top 10. Yes. This is one of those games that I found out about when it first came out and a cousin of mine was playing it. I didn't play it a lot then, but I think you have been playing Smackdown Shut Your Mouth a lot. And I was looking for a game that I could play. So you emulated it. I emulated yeah. it. Ugh. Yeah. Bad and, taste in my mouth. Oh my god, guys. I spent too many nights staying up till like 3, 4 in the morning having to work at 7 and going, it's fine, it's fine, I'll get 3 hours of sleep, I'm in my tw early yeah, 20s. Like 22. Yeah, I can handle it. I'll be it. fine. So yeah, and I didn't even drink coffee then. I don't know what we did. Were there even energy drinks back then? I think this is a pre-energy drink. Yeah, so I like hardcore, old school, stayed up all night, played this game, and then I even played it again not all that long ago. Not that long ago. Freaking will love this game. I, I, like, you can't beat the music in this game. Like, this is the best music. This is the best music in a Donkey Kong co Country game. I, it just, I don't, for it me, is in a Donkey Kong I Country don't, game. I don't care for Donkey Kong Country games. I know you're not. It just doesn't appeal to me. I'm not even talking to you. Right. Number eight. Yeah. I'm surprised it's this far down on the list. I have played all but one of the Uncharted. And this is the only one that made the top 10. Uncharted 4. So this has to be your favorite. This is my favorite. It was a close call between 2 and 4. Before just built upon it. Like I said, what it did with Evil Within 2. That's what they did with Uncharted 4. It just brought that something extra to the game. There was so much more layers to Uncharted 4. That I had to have that. And I think I think that's most people's out of all the Uncharted. It's a, it's a tie between two and four. People either go two or four as their favorite. I thought, isn't Dennis? Didn't he say Lost Legacy is his favorite? No, no. that's the oh, yeah, yeah, no. Else. But he said it was really good. He was okay. surprised yeah. he liked it as much. But yeah, two or four tends to be uh, people's favorite out of the series, and I can completely understand why. I just liked four a little bit more. All right. Number seven. Let me guess, it's another PS4 game. It is. <laughs> but you can play it on the Switch if you'd like. It is Little My Nightmares, the first one. And the reason I picked the first one over the second one is 
that even though there is more to do in the second one as far as like Mono has the ability to like carry a weapon and do other things, the story in this one was better. Okay. The story was just more cohesive. Now, the other one was twisted, but I just felt like I really but in a knew, good way. Though. In a good way, yeah. in the best way. Yeah. But I just felt like I knew more what was going on with this, and I loved those subtle nods to the story of the seven deadly sins. It, it just, it really got me, and it really got me hooked on Little Nightmares. Thank Denver Gamer for that suggestion. Yes, thank you so much. But this is a great game you will not be disappointed in. Number six. Alice, <laughs> that was, that I just love it. Alice Madness Returns. Now, I don't know if this is going to make everybody's top 10, and I'll tell you why it made mine. I love the idea of a dark, demented Alice, because she's usually like a blonde-haired, cheery... Nobody likes those girls. Nobody likes those girls, but I just loved that she's so messed up, and I actually sourced this game out myself. I found out about it, and I was like, yep. oh my god, I need to play this. And more often than not, when we would go game hunting, it would be Scott looking at games and me just kind of wandering around and Talking seeing. to everybody. Yeah. And this is, I feel like this is the game that really got me involved in the hunt. Yeah. Like I was hunting before, but it was more passively. When I found this game, I was like, okay, I do have a voice as a gamer. I do need to find out what I like. And this is a game I love. Now you have a... Uh... A review. I do there. have a review. I feel loved like it we so talk about the damn thing all the time. Well, you loved it so much that you actually put a lot of time and effort into I did. doing a review of it. Yeah. And she will put that link right here. Probably. Right over there. <laughs> but yeah, another great game uh, also available on the PS3. And yes, I do have it on that one too. Oh, it's an old school game. Wow. But Scott had it on his list. And Bobby I Cat. wish I would have did mine first. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, I'm pretty sure I like this more than Scott because A, I think it ranked higher on my list, and B, I played it more than he did. Did it rank higher on your list? Your list is getting lower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Was it in the same spot? Uh, maybe. Number 5 oh, yeah. is Castlevania Symphony mm, of the Night. I love uh, this game. Okay. I'll have to go back and watch. But I did play it almost two times. Almost two times? Almost two times. Because in a I row. Did, in a row, <laughs> because I deleted my save file and it was part of my gamer's education, so I couldn't just say, "Screw it," even though I really wanted to. But I did love it enough she to almost cried. play it twice. I did cry. <laughs> I, I I never had that experience. As there's I no crying in gaming. <laughs> there is crying in gaming, and it happens. Tom Hanks, tell her there's no crying. I think the reason I went back and picked that DS game out to play it was because I played this. And it's the reason I'll choose to play more Castlevania games. Yeah. This has to be It was your the... first Castlevania also. Yes, it yeah. was also my first one. I bought it for Scott for Father's Day so I could play it. <laughs> but you also enjoyed you it. You set the bar pretty high for I yourself do. when it comes to Castlevania games. I do, and that's the problem. But um, I I have aspirations to play, you know, other Castlevania games. Sure I just haven't do. gotten... Maybe when they put them on the PS4. <laughs> Shut up. Great game. I love it. Oh, I love this game. I can't they, believe this kay. one made it over Castlevania. Shut up! These, these last four or five, near like, we should have been filming this part of it, but I didn't want to give away everything right off that because it was bothering me. And I'm not even sure right now. Days Gone. It's such a great game. Can't believe you took that broken old zombie game. It's over not a broken game. <laughs> it's not it's anymore. It's not a broken game anymore. <laughs> and uh, Dennis was telling, he sent me a message a couple days ago. He's like, Matt said they're they're making a like a Days Before, and I'm like, is that yes. is that a prequel to Days Gone? Because I fucking hope it is. He said it looked. I haven't seen anything. About I have it yet, to go check it out. I'm it, like, Don't yeah, I guess know. it looks a lot. Is it called like Days it? Before? Or something like that. Something. Yeah, we'll stick it up here Yes. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah, but when Over he said it to probably. me, I was like, that's got to be a Days Gone, like, in that yeah. series. Holy shit, I didn't think we were getting one because... Well, we're... technically we didn't, but... Yeah. We'll have to see if it's the same creators. We ha we'll have to see, yeah. because we're getting a... Re like, I love The Last of Us, but I don't need it remastered. I don't need it. It doesn't need to happen. No. But... You'll still buy it. Such a great zombie game. I love it. Uh, and I really, like, it, it scared the shit out of me. It was tense. It was tense when those hordes would chase you. Oh, yeah. Such a phenomenal game. 
this this bothered me to put this at number three because <laughs> it's honestly any one of these could be a number one game but i put it number three and i judge me too okay and i judge the way i play it but i played it on the xbox one so we we're just going to deal with it resident evil 4 <sighs> the reason i want to remake after playing this game holy shit what a great game the sounds in it the, yeah. the sounds got me every time i did not want to play this game i remember Scared you? no i remember when mike made the suggestion i was like oh, fuck, whatever not like not i didn't know if i was really game. i didn't know if i was really gonna like it because i remember you playing the first part of the game and yeah. complaining about the controls yeah, it still got those old controls. And it so. still does in yeah. this one. Still got the tank controls. It does. But once I started playing it and got past that first scene in the village with the chainsaw guy chasing you, it's a doctor or something. Or I can't remember. I can't what he remember was either. Playing. But uh, I fell in love with this game. I, I mean, I still hate Leon! Ashley <sighs> calling you, but that's part of the charm of the game, I think. So I, like. I'm surprised it took me that long to play it. I'm so happy somebody Pushed picked you? it for my gamer education. Is that and what I, it was? Yeah, and oh, I okay. know that's why I need to take more suggestions and just play the games you guys suggest because you've already played them. That's why we do the community pick. That's why we do it. Mm -hmm. Now I, I know we complained about- Believe you copped out. I know we complained about Days Gone not getting a sequel because of remastered Last of Us, but I played no, The remake. Last of Us. It's a re-, re, a re a remake? remake isn't it? But I did it? play The Last of Us remastered on the PS4, and it's my number two game. Uh, I played this actually back to back. I played this one, and then the very right, into number, right into number two. So that was so cool playing it that way. We got to experience it as a couple first. That yeah. was really really fun. Um, I just I can't say enough about this game. The story that they create in this hooks you every time there's a reason that everybody loves the last of us i i don't know what game will top it i mean i know one because i have it over here <clears throat> but that won't be a popular opinion but i just like to see what else i would it might even be cool to do a prequel to see how joel gets out of the city after his daughter dies i don't know i I'm wonder sure. i wonder if they'll ever do that well i don't know but it's it's a phenomenal game. If you're not hooked from that first scene, I don't know what would get you. It's the first hour at the, yeah. most, at the most. I don't even know if it's that long. But when they kill off his daughter in that first scene... Spoiler! No, it's not a spoiler. It came out a bajillion years ago. But when they yeah. kill his daughter in the first scene, I'm like, you're like is this game for real? They just yeah. killed a kid? Holy shit, yeah. I gotta play the rest of it. That's what this game does. <laughs> I can see how many more kids they kill. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my number two. Hate me in the comments. It's fine. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. <laughs> no, she can't. The Last of Us Part 2. It... I don't know, guys. The story. Again, I fucking hated this game for about... Oh. Probably five fucking hours. The game's 30-hour game-ish. Yeah. And uh, you probably hated it for about the first 10 hours of it. You know what, when that scene happens, when, you know, the thing happens that we don't talk about in case people <laughs> haven't played it, when yeah. that thing happens, I was pissed, but... You wanted to stop playing. No, I didn't want to stop playing no? it when that first thing happened. Oh. And then we continued playing on his alley, and I was like, okay, I'm going to be a badass bitch, and I'm going to go fuck some shit up. Revenge! Revenge! Yep. But when that other part of the game happened, I was like... Fuck we'll call this. it the second half. The second half of the game happened. That's when I you looked to at Scott and I said, "This is not going to be. This is not a second half of the game, right? We don't have to play this entire thing." I just it, there was so much foreshadowing to tell me that that was a part two, and I was like, "No, no, we're not doing it. Fuck that. We're not doing it." And then we did, and then oh, I forced you to do it. You did. Yep. And then when I started realizing that I was rooting for somebody I hated to kill somebody I didn't hate. I was like, oh <laughs> god, they got me. And yeah, I was like, oh, okay, now I gotta, now I gotta like play it with an open mind and I really loved it. Mm -hmm. it like it, it, it had me 
all over the place. I fucking hated it. I fucking loved yeah. it. And it, like, oh, the storytelling in this is phenomenal. Whether yes. you love it or hate the story, you gotta admit that's one hell of a story. That's one hell of a story. Yeah. So that's why it's my number one. Will it stay number one forever? I have no clue. Let's see what else they. I do. hope not, because I hope we keep getting yeah. better games. I do too. But unfortunately, a lot of the modern games I feel are just rushed and watered down. Yeah, I do too. So I do too. And you know what? I know at some point here within the last year, uh, Retro Rolf asked us to provide him with a top ten games each, <laughs> and I don't even know if it's all the same. And that's the problem. I could look tomorrow and find something in our lot of 1200 games and go oh my god i forgot depends that. on what i've been playing right it depends on the day it depends on what you've been playing i hope next year that both of these lists change at least a little bit uh, yeah it would be great if they did uh there was a few other games that i didn't even mention honorable mention and it, and it bothered me not to add them so i know they've changed something in me as yeah. a gamer so that's always good that's always a positive thing even if it comes across as a negative but uh I appreciate you guys appreciate you guys watching this. I hope everybody we tagged will follow suit and do the same because I want to, yeah. you know, bask in your misery. It's <laughs> it's fun for me. If you guys are miserable too, we can be miserable together. Don't you think? Wow. <laughs> all right. That seems like a good place to end this video. Let's all be miserable. Let's all be miserable. <laughs> Cheers. You didn't say. Cheers. Fun. Game on. Game on.